Hello, I'm Jerry McKee, host of Down Home with Jerry McKee, and we're in my kitchen right now with a hometown chef and a helper. And we got Katie Adams, we got Samantha Lee, and they're going to show you how to make a meal for two in about 30 minutes. Quick, so men, get your snow pads out because <laughs> this is going to be easy for you, right, Katie? It sure is. Now, Katie, oh, yes. I see a lot of your food on Facebook. It's the reason I called to get you here because it looks so great. And you're going to be able to teach me how to do this? Yeah, you should be able to do this tonight for Edna. I think she'll like something sweet and simple, just well, enough for two. That's me, sweet and simple. Oh, okay. Pretty good. <laughs> Samantha, where you go to school at? Johnsville. Johnsville. Okay. High school? Johnsville Middle School. Oh, middle school. What grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. So you're going to kind of learn how to cook too, right? And Samantha is going to make the dessert. So stay tuned and watch closely. And the recipes will be at the end of each little segment we have here. And you're going to have some great food to eat. Katie, what are we going to have to eat today? Well, today we're going to fix, um, it's what I call mini meatloaves. It's perfect portions just for a single person, you know, for each person. So we're going to have mini meatloaves and we're going to make an easy stovetop mac and cheese. And for dessert, we're going to have cookie lasagna. It's really kid friendly and fun to make. So y'all be ready. Great. Now, now uh, Sam, uh, do you put one cookie in and eat one cookie and like that? <laughs> I would do that. I'd have to do that. Stay tuned and learn how to cook a fabulous meal. All right, the first thing we're gonna make is the mini meatloaves. And I've got all the ingredients here. We have a half a cup of ketchup. This is going into the meatloaf. Um, a third of a cup of meatloaf seasoning. It's by McCormick. And then a fourth of a cup of breadcrumbs. We have uh, just a handful of diced onions and we're gonna use one egg because we only have a pound and a half of meat. So you usually use one egg per pound. So we're just gonna use one and it'll, it'll work just the same. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the onions into the meatloaf. All right, that's good. Next, we're gonna do our breadcrumbs. And meatloaf seasoning. And the ketchup. ketchup. Alright. And our egg. And then you just take your hands and you mix it up really well. You gotta get everything worked through so you can just taste all of those flavors of the seasoning and breadcrumbs and the onions and ketchup. And if you don't like to mix meatloaf up by hand, you can use, um, my grandmother uses a potato masher, or you can use a spoon or a fork or some kind of utensil just so you don't have to get your hands in it. But the best way to get all that flavor is to just mix it up by hand. All right, Sam, you wanna add a little bit of salt and pepper in there? That's good. Okay. All right, grab this pan right here and put it in front of you. So once you get it all worked through and worked together, what we're gonna do is just take half of the mixture and kind of patty it out kind of like a hamburger at first. Kind of get it worked together. And you can make the loaf in your hand if you want to, but if you want, it's kind of easier to shape it out in the pan. So what you do, maybe put it right here. And I kind of make it into a rectangular shape. And you want them to kind of have a good, not a, too big of a height on them, because if you make it too thick, it's, it takes longer to cook. So if you want to kind of flatten it out some, you can, whatever your preference is, be 
fan. And do that one just as well. They don't have to be perfect, just Kind of gonna look like two big hamburger steaks. Then you take it, you preheat your oven on a 350 or 400, depending on how your um, stove cooks or your oven cooks. I'm sorry. And uh, you cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes, depending. So now we're gonna place the meatloaf in a preheated oven on 400 degrees and let it cook for 20 minutes. And then we'll take it back out and put some ketchup topping on top. And then we'll place it back in for another five. Cut that out. 
Alright. Get the other one out? Yep. I think we're going to use the rest of that meal. So you can get that can of milk too. And we'll pour the rest of that in here. Yeah. You know, pour it right there. Okay. Just hold on to it. Okay. One more. Cheese. And just wait for that. If you want to, when you get that thrown away, you can uh -huh. put some salt and pepper in here. So now that we've got all the ingredients in here, we're going to put the last little bit of cheese and what we'll do is we'll get the top put on it. Right now it's on medium low heat, kind of in between. And what we'll do is once everything gets started melting and looking creamy and real good and all, we're going to turn it down to low and put the lid on it and let it simmer for five minutes and then it'll be done. make this herself because it's just so simple and easy and it's fun to make especially fun for kids so the first thing we're going to do we have chips the whole wheat original chocolate chip cookies and what she's going to do we have just a small bowl of milk first thing you do for the first layer is you take a cookie and you dip it and soak it in the milk real good and we're going to make a whole bottom layer of these so you dip like this Sorry. So you just dip it like that and we'll layer them all the way across. I'm going to help some. This is something that a, a girl I grew up with taught me when we were little and she called it cookie surprise and that's been a long time ago. And uh, I've added a few things to this recipe myself over the years and it's still just as good, but there's nothing better than when you're little and you make memories like that with your friends. So she's always been one I held close to my heart. So this, this is her recipe and hopefully she'll watch this and see that I'm making it. All right, once you get that first layer of cookies on there, we've got whip topping, which is Cool Whip. You can use regular Cool Whip, whatever you want to use. And then the secret ingredient I have is Philadelphia cheesecake filling. So what we'll do is we'll do a layer of each on top of each. So we'll do the cheesecake first, and then we'll do a layer of the Cool Whip <laughs> on top of the cookies. Good. Smell good. Mm-hmm. You want me to get another one too? You spread it. Well, mine? Yep. Spread Ugh. it. It's fine. How? Just be careful. Just spread it out some. See? You use the edge of your spoon and spread it out. <clears throat> it's okay. They're going to tear up. Is that what it's supposed to be? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. It's all right. You're doing fine. Okay. We need some more. Time. No, we're, we're going to spread that. Oh. So you want me to get that? Or this one? Yep. Go ahead and start getting spoonfuls of that and drop it. Oh. All right. Drop it right down in the middle. There we go. See, so spread that so much easier. Right here. All right, now you spread it out. 
That's easy. Yep. Oh, here, here. After you get the first layer made, you just keep making layers of this. It's kind of like what we call it a cookie lasagna. So once we get this next layer finished of the cookies, we'll have the last layer of cheesecake and Cool Whip, and then we will save one cookie or two, if Sam wants, and we'll crumble it on top. And all you do after that, you can eat it immediately. And if you don't want to eat it immediately and want to save it for later, just put it in the fridge. That's all. Okay. Get it all you, up to now. And you leave them two there. I'm gonna spread these and then you spread the. All this. Yeah, but just let me get this spread out. And this does kind of, the cookies break up as you want them to be soft. It's kind of, it's really light. It's a light tasting dessert. And it's really good. There's really no wrong way to make cookie, cookie lasagna. It's, it's just a fun dessert to make with the kids. All right, go ahead and throw that on there. You know, I love it. Okay. Good job. <laughs> you slopped it down. I'm telling you. But yeah, that spread it real good to the corners. Alright. Now, let me hold that spade. Now we're going to take the last two cookies and crumble them up evenly over the top. Just as a kind of a garnish. Yeah, just break them up really good. Really good. Yep. Oh, take all. Now you gotta get it all over the top. It really doesn't have to be perfect, it's fine. And that is how you make cookie lasagna. Kid friendly, fun, and really, really good. dinner for two um, as you can tell it was just something so simple to make it's really quick and it's hard to cook for two people so if you ever just run out of an idea try to portion control that's the easiest thing to do um, meatloaf is just one of my favorites so it was kind of easy to portion control it because I, I'd like to eat it all by myself but um, this is it this is our mac and cheese mini meatloaf and cookie lasagna and thank you so much for watching hopefully hopefully you can make this meal for you and your loved one or maybe just yourself